Hello. It's it's um, it's great to have another uh, interview with someone in uh, our series of Love Yourself, Love Your Neighbour. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to get this person who we're going to interview today to introduce themselves. So who are you and um, where are you and what do you do? Hello, um, I am Rebecca, Rebecca Bias. I live in Nottingham and I wear many hats. I am a chaplain in a care home. Uh, I work for the Methodist District as a wellbeing officer. Um, I am a homeschooling mum at the moment, not by choice. Um, so yes, many hats. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks for sparing a bit of time in your busy homeschooling schedule, as well as having to work. Um, um, to, to share a few of your reflections and you're a great person to talk to with your chaplain hat on with your well-being hat on and um, so as we explore together this idea of uh, loving ourselves and loving our neighbours in this um, lockdown time uh, how is it that you are loving yourself? Um, I am having to think kindly it is um, very tempting to um, see this period of time as an opportunity to do all the chores that I don't normally do because I'm busy um, and the reality is uh, we've not been through this before um, it is um, scary uh, it's intimidating it's trauma um, and so to think kindly to um, see my day not as a list of chores but as a place where I am existing and I'm going to exist well for myself is really important so um, being aware of any negative thought cycles and challenging them um, giving myself time to think and not just fill it with um, Netflix uh, which is really easy there's so much stuff um, that I could be doing so much stuff that is distraction um, and actually I need to not be busy so that I have time to feel afraid so that I have time to um, be compassionate towards myself so that I have time to notice where my kind of bite points are um, are really important so it's, it's very much my brain uh, and and movement I've had a bad back for ages and the temptation because a lot of the distractions are now uh, on, on devices, is to move not as much. Um, and so it's making sure that I do the stretches the physio gave me um, and to be disciplined with that, um, to go outside um, safely. Um, so yeah, it's the, it's the balance of all of it. Fantastic, I love that, that sense of be kind and take time. Uh, Having a, having a physical problem with your back, that's a real kind of like, oh yeah, I know what I can do with this. When you say take time with the other stuff of thinking through the bite points, what, what, what things do you do in, in that moment of taking time? I have a pond. Uh, before um, we had finished unpacking our boxes when we moved a couple of years ago, we dug a pond. Um, and I have found um, on, on my spiritual journey that if I sit by a body of water, uh, and I do this when I'm driving home every day um, on, on, on normal circumstances. I stop by the River Trent um, and there is something mystical um, that joins uh, every other moment that I've sat by a body of water to those, even if it's two or three minutes, um, that gives me a sense of um, the eternity, the magnitude of God, uh, and even if that's by a little pond, um, there's something spacey wacy timey wimey <laughs> about about sitting by a body of water. Um, and I've I've found that for myself that if I if I intentionally pilgrimage um, to to the water. Um, and sit beside it there's something very life-giving uh, and peace-giving about it so I do that on purpose. That's amazing that's really wonderful so um, you, I'm, I'm sure this point so you haven't got it all in the bag but it sounds like you've got a nice rhythm and and sense of what you're doing in terms of loving yourself what about when it comes to love your neighbour how how are you doing that? Um, for a start, I'm making sure that my, I'm seeing my neighbour not as the whole globe. We're all affected by this. Uh, I uh, 
tends towards a hero complex where I want to save everybody and that can be incredibly overwhelming. So my neighbour at the moment are the people that live on my street and the care home at the end of it. I don't work for that care home, but, but they are my immediate neighbour. We see them every day at 11 o'clock. We go out and we see them. We are connected on WhatsApp. We've had Scarecrow Festival. We've got a light night coming up. We're going out for the clap um every week uh, because that matters that matters to be connected to see them and um, to check that the the more vulnerable people within my local local neighborhood are okay and cared for um we're doing similar with church we have contained and um delegated who we are going to care for during this time. Um, I have six people that I call up or text or email or FaceTime, um, but only six. I am not responsible for everybody, but for a, a few. Um, and the same in the care home. Um, it's, a, it's a finite number. Uh, I, can, I can do that, that is within my means. So um, I go and I, create that space um, I try not to be busy and that's really difficult I went from being an activity coordinator to a chaplain as an activity coordinator you are bouncy and enthusiastic and you're trying to engage people and draw them in as a chaplain I need to be as unbusy as possible um, I am probably one of the only people that isn't busy I, I am busy I'm doing things but it has to be, if someone needs an hour and a half of my time, that's what they get. They don't get that every time I'm in, but some people need longer. And so it's being intentionally present, aware of what people need, actively listening, uh, looking for the gems and the truth in what people are saying. Um, and I, I mean, I'm fortunate, I get to leave my house two days a week. And I go to see people and my job has never felt like a holiday before, but it really does now. Um, so I get, I get to go and I get to be with people. Um, we have worship. We are still gathering together for worship two meters apart, but we all live in the same home. Um, and my, my residents, they're incredibly smug that all of the churches around the country have closed except our church. And so we're, we're starting to look in our fellowship and we, in how we love each other. What does it now mean for us to be church? Because they are not, um, they're no longer people who are in a care home, unable to go to their churches where they are members. They are people that in a crisis are still managing to gather together in fellowship and worship. Um, and it's, it's, it's transformed how, how we see each other in fellowship. So it's been a really, a really positive thing for us. Wow, um, that's fantastic. That's great. Well, it's been so lovely to, to hear your reflections on these two simple phrases that mean so much on loving yourself, loving your neighbour. It's been a real joy to talk to you, Rebecca. Thanks for sparing the time in the midst of homeschooling and wellbeing <laughs> officer and chaplain to all these people that are having a great time because they've got a church no one else has. It sounds fantastic. So uh, thank you so much and um, thank you for all you do and caring for so many people this time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.